Hello and welcome to BMC Discovery 12.1. In this video, we are going to take a look on how to use BMC Discovery Outpost. In this video, we will take a look on the BMC Discovery Outpost system requirements, how to install, configure, manage and upgrade the BMC Discovery Outpost. So let's start with the system requirements. In this video, we will take a look at the installation of BMC Discovery Outpost for 2008 version of BMC Discovery. Discovery Outpost can be installed on any suitable Windows computer. It can be a physical or a virtual server. A single Outpost can be registered with multiple Discovery Appliance and a single Discovery Appliance can be registered with multiple Discovery Outpost. The minimum recommended specification for Discovery Outpost host are as following. It's only available for 64-bit platforms, for operating system 2012, 2012 R2, 2016 and 2019. There should be minimum 2 CPUs, 8 GB RAM and 60 GB hard disk. And we also recommend not to install BMC Discovery Outpost if the host is already running some another business service. Now let's take a look at the installation. To install Discovery Outpost, we need to download the installation file. In order to do that, open your Discovery Appliance, go to Manage and go to Outpost and Proxies. The installation file is available over here. Click on Download the installer. Once the file is downloaded, just double click on the file to start the installation. Click Next from the welcome screen. This is the default installation path. You can also change to a specific new installation folder. Click on Next. 443 is the default port number that BMC Discovery Outpost will use for the web interface. You can keep the default one or you can enter a new port number. Please enter the password for Outpost Administrator. Click on Next and click on Install. You will see this notification when the installation is completed. Select the checkbox for Launch BMC Discovery Outpost UI and click on Finish. Here you can log in with the same admin password you have entered at the time of installation. The Outpost is now installed successfully. Now we will take a look on how to register this Outpost with BMC Discovery Appliance. In order to do that, click on Register an Instance. Open another tab for BMC Discovery Appliance and in the Outpost Connection section click on Register an Outpost. From the Outpost you need to copy the token of the Outpost and paste it in the Discovery Appliance. Click on Copy to Clipboard. Once the token is copied go to BMC Discovery Appliance and paste the token you over here. Make sure that the name of the Outpost is displayed in the Name section correctly. Click on Add. Now you need to copy the appliance token and register it with the outpost. Click on copy to clipboard. Once the token is copied, go to the BMC Discovery Outpost. Paste the token over here. Make sure that the name of the appliance and the appliance address is populated. Click on add. Now you can see that BMC Discovery Appliance is registered in the BMC Discovery Outpost. And here you can see that Outpost connection in BMC Discovery Appliance. To perform Discovery scans right now you can use both Discovery Appliance and Discovery Outpost. If you would like to disable the Discovery Appliance scan just click on the disable button over here and the local discovery will be disabled and the scan will be only performed from the Outpost. If you want to temporarily disable the Outpost you have that option from Actions and Disable then this outpost won't be used in the scan. Once you are ready to use the outpost again, just click on Action and click on Enable. Once the outpost is registered, it requires very little configuration. To view them, go to Manage and Configuration. Here you can see the name, URL, port, scope used for the BMC Discovery Outpost. You can specify the IP ranges this outpost is allowed to scan. You can also specify the exclude IP ranges over here as well. You can also change the logging level. You can also choose to enable or disable the Windows Discovery Scan using WMI and using REM query. And you can also specify their timeouts. 
now let's take a look at the upgrade of the outpost. If there is an upgraded installer file is available for the outpost, it will be delivered through the monthly TKU release and it would be changed over here. You can configure PMC Discovery Outpost to be automatically upgraded. In order to do that, in Manage Configuration section, you have an option for Auto Enable. We recommend you to keep this one enabled. If for some reason you have kept it as disabled and the new update is available, you will see its notification message in the Outpost connection. So once the update is available and the auto update option is disabled, you will see a button in the configuration which will allow you to update the outpost. You can click on update now and the outpost will be updated. Discovery outpost can be opened with a discovery user. Please note that for few activities such as registration, configuration and database traverse management, you need the administrator authentication. In order to do that, just enter the administration password and click on Add Privileges. Here in the user profile, you can see the user used to log into the Discovery Appliance and you see all the other options are also open for configuration right now. That's all in this session for right now. Thank you for watching.